400, 200 male observations, the 200 male exam grades, and the 200 female exam grades. Okay, so that's my column vector done for, that's my, I suppose, my dependent variable done. Okay, so let me do the independent variable, my, my levels. So data dot, let's say, dot gender, okay, the gender, okay, the gender labels, okay, it's going to be C, we're going to combine uh, data dot levels, dot males don't forget we put the males in first up here when we create that that vector okay and we're going to combine that with data dot levels whoops data dot levels levels dot female okay so now actually let me just change this here to be gender over here why am i doing this i should just click on that okay to be gender okay uh, and i'm going to hit return so now what i have is i have two vectors yes the length of the first vector data dot grades okay is it's 400 there's 400 observations in here and the length of the second vector which is data dot gender okay dot gender is also 400 okay so for each exam grade we also have its associated label okay whether it's male or female okay now what i'd like to do is i'd like to create my overall data frame okay so what i'm going to say is i'm going to give it a name i'm going to say data dot all dot frame okay and what I'm going to do is I'm going to use, let's do as a cast, we're going to use the function data frame, data dot frame, okay, to create a data frame. This is going to combine our two columns together, okay? Well, our first column is called data dot grades, okay, data dot grades, okay? And our second column is called data dot gender, okay, dot gender. Now, what I'd like to do here is I actually like to, I actually like to force the actual type of the variables at this particular stage. Now, the data.grades are numeric, okay? Now, we already know they're numeric, we've already got it up here, okay? Uh, but I'd like to say that data.gender is actually a factor, okay? It's a nominal variable. So actually, what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna do it. I'm just gonna say data.grades should be as dot vector, okay? It should be a vector, okay? And what I'm gonna say, oh, sorry, it should be as numeric, okay? It should be as numeric, okay? And what I'm going to do over here is I'm going to say this is as the factor. It should be a factor, okay? And that's going to create my my data frame for me now. So actually, what it's doing is just basically combining these two columns together. It's we're we're forcing the first column to be numeric, and we're forcing the second column to be a factor, which is at the nominal level of measurement. Okay, I'm just going to hit return, and now I have my data frame. Okay, so let me actually just call data frame data dot all dot frame. And let's see actually what that looks like. Okay, well, there you go. There's 400 observations. Let's just go up to the top here. Okay, let's just scroll back up. You can see that the first one is, the, the first column here, well, the, the first column is here is actually the is the number of the observation. This is observation one, but the first real column here is are all numbers, and the second column here is is the genders, males, and there we have our females. Okay, but what I'd like to know, what what I'd like to change is, you can see the label here in the header is as numeric dot data dot grades and as factor dot data dot gender. I'd like to, this to be this label to be grades exam grade, and I'd like this label over here to be just gender. So I'd like to change that, and we can actually do that quite simply by using the names function okay so we can use the names function I'll just go control L here to clear this up a bit so we can use the names function okay uh, actually let's list the variables that we have currently created there's my variables that I've created using the LS so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say names okay and well what do I want to rename I want to rename data dot all dot frame okay that's the the frame that's containing all my data and what I'd like to pass into it is I'd like to pass in for the headers yeah the two names I want to give to the headers but I'm going to pass that in as a vector okay as a vector of size 2 using the combine the combine uh, the combine combine function so what I'm going to pass in is the first header which is exam grade okay and I'm going to pass in the second header okay which is gender okay let me just spell that with its uppercase G, gender, okay? And I'm going to pass that in here, okay? Now let's call data.all.frame, and let's see what we get, okay? Let's scroll back up to the top here, okay, whoops. And you actually see we have exam grade. Now the first column here is labeled exam grade, and the second column is labeled gender. So actually what we've actually created here is we've created our data frame, okay? Now we're ready to do our t-test, okay? Now we can do this two ways. What we're going to do is we're going to use the data frame first of all to create the, to do the t-test, okay? Uh, and what we're going to say is t.test, okay? 
t-test takes a number of parameters uh, the way we're going to do it is based off the columns the independent and the dependent variable okay so I'm going to say it's exam exam grade okay is my is the name of my of my independent variable and I'm going to use twiddle and I'm going to put in the name of my dependent variable which is gender okay now at this stage, the t-test doesn't know what the is the same. What the hell is exam grade and what the hell is gender? Well, what I'm going to actually say now is actually where to find that information. I'm going to say the data is equal to it's data dot all dot frame. That's where you're going to find that particular information, if that makes sense. Yeah, with respect to this particular with respect to this particular this particular call. Okay. Uh, now at this stage, we could just we could just hit return and it'll give us the results of the t-test. Actually, what I want to do first of all is I want to say that the variance, the variance dot equals variance dot equal uh, equals true to say that I want it to do the t test. Don't forget there's 